So I've really listened to you help people fine tune. Sometimes people will say, I'm happy 95% of the time, and you'll be like, not even close. I feel like as I do this work, I get more and more in touch with what I actually feel. Good. You know, it's, I kind of can fool myself, and then I'll see what's happening, and I go, oh. Well, it's all right. Manifestations are wonderful. Yeah. Because there are two ways of knowing how you're doing with your gap. There are two ways of knowing how in sync you are with all that you've become and all that you want or how out of sync you are. One is by the way you feel as it's happening. And the other is by what's turning to things, by what's manifesting. If unwanted things are manifesting, you've got your attention on those kinds of unwanted things. And that unwanted thing that is manifesting right now, when you look at it, gives you an emotion that you should be able to recognize as a pretty familiar emotion. Yes. So when you look at something and you feel an emotion and you say, oh, this is a familiar emotion, then your logic tells you, and that holding myself consistently in that vibration is the reason that these thoughts turn to these things. Yes. So what I'm wondering is what I've seen you do. And every single time we're interrupting you, it's yet another gift of clarification for you. Yes. It's never punishment about your wrong thought. It's just affirmation of your thought. No judgment about the rightness or the wrongness of the thought, just affirmation of what it is. And if you don't like how it's turning out, think different thoughts. Yes. But not easy to do, especially when you're standing in the middle of stuff. So you got to do it first thing in the morning before there's much momentum going. Okay. You want to meditate more and quiet your mind. You want to find the things that are easy to feel good about and focus on those more. You want to get out of problem solving mode, give it up. It's the way humans justify their existence and it never works. So give it up, cash in your problem solving mode for your appreciation looking mode it will serve you much better. We'll listen to the details. Well, it's not so much details as the, what I've loved with some people is I've seen you kind of help tune them. It's like you take a subject and just sort of just gently with so much care just take them into a place so they can just feel what it is you're talking about and i do feel i feel like i'm on a treasure hunt and even the things that maybe are challenging it's like oh okay good i see that i have some tuning to do but i really love the way you do that with some people well, we're happy to do that and we will do it with you if you want us to hear but we want to say something that is really important to the unfolding of this conversation is something that we're talking about a lot recently. And it is about the difference between a condition that evokes an emotional response mm. and a less active vibration over which you have more control. In other words, there's more momentum in things as they begin to manifest. Okay. So, in the idea of turning thoughts to things if you start earlier in the process there is less resistance less satisfaction too but less resistance you see what we're getting I do. at I do. Yes. so sometimes all the time people would say well if that were different i would feel a lot better if that person were different then i would feel a lot better and we don't question that we know we agree that if you were looking at something different Esther has a friend that says if that person were just different he'd be perfect <laughs> and so we understand that the condition is something that gets your attention and so what conditional love is need to modify those conditions so that when I look at them I have a knee-jerk response that feels good to me unconditional love is Never mind the condition. Let's back up from the condition and find the essence of it that has less momentum that's easier for me to find alignment. Yes. So, in the progress of vibration turning to thoughts, turning to rendezvous, turning to experiences, turning to things, in that 
process of evolution in the evolution of becoming over here where the emotion is where the thoughts just start flowing and the emotion follows instantly we want to call that an uncondition just for a little while because there's no condition it's just an idea and it's just an emotion about an idea and all of you whether you're creating relationships or financial empires most of it is done before the first brick is laid or before the first words are exchanged because this vibrational reality is created and all of the power happens and then when you start getting involved in it that's when you start messing it up by giving your attention to the details that you don't like you see mm -hmm. so if you could stay in the unconditional more emotional and we want to for a while call the emotional state the unconditional state so then what you're asking of us is Abraham please present to me a sort of picture that I can focus on so that I can feel better mm -hmm. and we say that's still pretty conditional because you're wanting us to create something that you can respond to where what we're wanting you to do is care so much about feeling good that you're willing to feel around until you find it mm -hmm. and what that means oh this is such a leading-edge conversation mm -hmm. what that means is you're going to feel your way into alignment just like Esther did in those nine months that she was meditating she could feel when her mind was wandering and that state of detachment wasn't there and she could feel when she'd quieted her mind and that state of detachment was more she could feel when she was in greater harmony with something that felt good and she could feel when it dissipated you can always feel your alignment with what you want but it takes a little listening and feeling and tuning before you're able to do that and so this is really the more effective approach because what we see with so many of you is that you are trying so hard to cause yourself to feel good that you have become more controlling of conditions that you can't control and therefore feeling less good rather than more good it requires letting go and trusting and that requires understanding this three-step process you have already asked it's already in the vortex and it is already a reality if you could just accept that it is a done deal it is ready for you it's done you ask source answered it's there and the law of attraction has assembled all cooperative components it's done it's there it's done it's there it's done it's there so you don't have to keep trying to create conditions that allow it all you have to do is chill out get into a place where you're in the receptive mode where the idea will occur to you it might be an idea of going there or going here it might be an idea you know that feeling when you say oh I just got the best idea Esther has a friend who says you know where that came from you know where that came from it came from your vortex it's an idea that you received you allowed yourself to be the receiver of it and there is nothing in all of the universe more delicious than to be the receiver of the unfolding of your own creation that you've put there because you finished it pretty much you finished it you've lived enough life that you've put it there and it is a reality it's an uncondition it's an uncondition you got to start getting excited about the uncondition so if somebody said what you're going to do today Esther's begun to say Oh, it's mostly going to be a day of quiet contemplation and they say really because that's not what they see when they watch Esther she's rarely still she's hardly ever quiet <laughs> but she is contemplating in other words she wants to tune in and she wants to follow her nose she wants to interesting she wants to follow that feeling mm -hmm. so when an idea comes I think I'll call this person I think I'll text this person I think I'll go here I think I'll do this those feelings and thoughts that come are guidance because this is always for sure your inner being knows where you stand in relationship with everything you want and knows the path of least resistance let's say that clear and knows which way to get you there faster giving the resistance that you hold let's say it clear knows which is the most logical thing you'll be able to hook into given your level of resistance on this topic or this topic don't you like that 
not saying oh we're gonna wait for you to clean it up we're not gonna waste our time with you until you just clear the path and go directly there no constant information which you are translating through your lens that's clear or clouded and as you begin to trust this and you start noticing oh had that impulse and boy was that wonderful even though it didn't lead me directly to what I thought I wanted I sure had a nice conversation I sure picked up a good piece of information it sure was part of the unfolding and isn't that what life must be constant unfolding you think you would like to just close your eyes and teleport from one place to another you do we hear Esther every now and again just take me there don't make me drive to, don't make me pack again don't make me drag my bag to the airport don't make me drag it across the street don't make me go through security <laughs> and we say don't you just love getting in your car and going don't you just love the wheels on your suitcase don't you just love the beautiful airports that have been created don't you just love interfacing with this one and this one and this one in other words you really do not want to just teleport yourself you don't want to go to your final destination you don't you want the experience of flow you want to let the universe show you how good you are at following the path of least resistance of when to leave of where to go of which route to take of when to hesitate of when to proceed so that you just hook up with all of the good that life has to give you that's what life is it isn't just going from here to there from here to there from here to there or from not having this to having that it's the process of the unfolding of your genius ability to tune to the unconditioned and mold it into the condition and then revel in everything that it took to bring it there oh that's when you really begin to appreciate what is manifested in your experience it's the deliciousness of having been there every step of the way and recognizing the genius and the love and the caring and the benevolence of source and the precision of your allowing and reception that's what creation is not proven anything to anybody just living happily ever after every step of the way and savoring every bit of it helpful oh yeah <laughs> Yeah. so real quick just so the dreams that I have are already there right they are because there is often not always but less resistance while you are slumbering you are certainly less resistance and so you're in a better receptive mode in your dream state to well, what's no, active I don't actually mean the dreams while I'm asleep but the dreams of the unfolding of my life well that's what we're talking about your vortex Right. that's what your vortex is yeah those aren't dreams those are realities oh yeah <laughs> they're realities that haven't manifested yet but you've got to make them realities enough that they ring your bells yeah and if they're not ringing your bells then don't focus on them yeah because sometimes i feel that i don't want to talk about this too much but just somewhere along the way it's like well that can't happen so don't dream it and so what i'm wanting is just well, to those, open up well everything that we said to you is about that in other words it doesn't matter what you've been doing you know something more now than you've ever known before yes you are different now as a result of this conversation that we've been having for one hour yes you are different right now you have a different vibrational frequency your point of attraction is different you're different under the universe your path of least resistance has become less resistance mm -hmm. your path of more allowing has become more allowing you are in a more receptive mode right now than you've ever been don't go back and regurgitate those old statements about things that don't apply right Right now yeah. this is a good time for a segment of refreshment